Are you struggling to get good audio from your Blue Yeti? In this video, I'll show you all the hardware and software fixes I use to get great audio. First off, go into your sound settings under your system preferences tab and go into sound and select input and select your Yeti stereo microphone and then adjust your input volume. What I did is I brought this down to about 60% so that I don't have any peaks so that whenever I say any of the puh sounds, then it doesn't mess up the audio and I can get good sound. And so I brought this down to be about 60%. Output volume is at 100% still and that has helped me quite a bit. Next, let's check out the filters that are in OBS. So I use OBS to do all of my recording and in here, if you select your audio input capture and you select filters, then you'll see these different filters that I have set up. So the first one is an expander and the settings here are done using a gate. The ratio is five, threshold is 53. So this should be about five decibels lower than whatever your, your you know, audio is gonna be. This expander is used to reduce background noise like computer fans, breathing, keyboard and mouse clicks. And so I use this one as the first filter. The second one is gonna be compressor. And so this also reduces loud sounding noises and makes them sound quieter. Usually these are things that you know you, you would hear in the background and would be static noises for like any uncompressed audio. So add the compressor as your second filter. The third one I have is to do overall noise suppression. And this is to block out some fan noise from my laptop and also from my Bitcoin mining machine that you see in the background. So those uh, have very loud fans and typically are pretty noisy. And so this noise suppression gets rid of a lot of that, gets rid of some of the static noise as well that you kind of, the crackling you can get from the, the Blue Yeti. So I use this one as my third filter. The fourth one is your limiter, and this is to prevent any of your audio signals from peaking above zero decibels, which can cause like some clipping or distortion. And this one always needs to be your last filter. Uh, this one I adjusted to be one decibel, and then the release of 60, the 60 might actually just be the default. And so if I turn some of these off, you should be able to hear some of the background noise, like the fan on my, on my different machines, probably my breathing quite a bit. And so if I add these back in, then all of that should go away and you should have some nice clean audio. Some other software that I've run across where people really enjoy using it is from Rogue Amoeba. I don't have any affiliate with them, but I do know that using Loopback and also hi Audio Hijack is nice to be able to get that same noise suppression, not necessarily be coupled to OBS. If you're using some kind of like like Ecamm Live or some other software to, to do your, your audio recording. If you buy both of them, then they kind of bundle them together. Uh, audio Hijack allows you to take whatever audio and run it through a bunch of different configurations to do that noise suppression or whatever modification or compression you need. And then Loopback lets you plug it into like Zoom calls or OBS or whatever other system. So if you buy both of them, looks like it's right now 135 bucks. So if you're interested in having a different software solution instead of using some of the filters in OBS, this is a different way you could accomplish that. Another thing I'll mention is on the actual Blue Yeti, I am using the gain set almost all the way down and then the cardioid pattern. So that's very important. I have, you know, maybe a few inches in front of me. What I've found is if I have the microphone a little higher, then it doesn't catch as much of my breathing. And so I don't have to edit as much in the videos. I used to get some of it, but that helps me a little bit. So you're not having to like, you know, edit all the little breaths out, which is nice. I also purchased a mutter. So this little filter on top to help with some of the noise reduction. And then also this boom arm, whenever I would be typing, you would hear, you know, some very loud clicking and different noises from me typing on the keyboard. And the boom arm really eliminates that. So if you have a lot of that background noise whenever you're typing or clicking, then consider doing a boom arm. 
I'll put um, the two, the mutter and also the boom arm in the description so y'all can check that out. Hopefully this video was helpful and you can learn some, all of my little fiddling and mistakes that I've made in trying to figure out good audio for these YouTube videos. So if you learn something, hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.